I was so dumb, but I hopped on a plane, almost drove right back to the 541. Shitty you turned on the freeway, you turned me from a fiend to a way to you find. Can wait in the sun for a little, but it's been real gray, and tonight it's a nice C1. Can wait in the cold for a while at the reasons of I was just telling everybody, King. We have a couple of days if you're in Lane County, M's and Dems. Drop your drop your thing in the you mail it out, drop it in the ballot box, do your thing. Not even telling you not even telling you what to vote for, just go fucking do it. Also vote for the M's and don't be a dick about it. Um yeah. That's it. Don't be a dick. Seems pretty safe. How are kids' sports going, King? Um, <clears throat> I'm not uh, uh, pass. Not at liberty to speak. Got it. I'm not. Yeah. No. Okay. I'm, Fair enough. Yeah. All right. Let's start the podcast. I'm Alex. He's King. He's Ski. Uh, you see the Twitter handles on the picture of this podcast. Go ahead and tweet at one of those if you really want to. Also, join Discord, Sports Brewery, and Discord. That's what you really should do is join that because – it's more fun than Twitter. Twitter's a hellscape. Avoid it at all costs. It's terrible. Um, <laughs> but also follow all of us on Twitter. Uh, Twitch.tv slash abrog87 if you want to watch our live stream every Thursday around 8 o'clock. Might be switching to Wednesday. We don't know yet. We'll see. Uh, Twitch.tv slash abrog87 if you miss those, watch them on YouTube. I post them there. Movie this Sunday is Unfrosted. Is that what it's called? That is what it's called, yeah. Unfrosted. It's the uh, Jerry Seinfeld vehicle that is on Netflix right now. So watch that. Listen to us talk about it on Sunday. Um, I got some hot takes. I got some. They're not hot takes. They're not hot at all, but they are some takes. I have some Seinfeld takes that you will hear on Sunday. So... Ski's oh, movie. Did you need did you need me to tell you that it's Ski's movie this week? Fucking A Ski. God. Wait. A brand new movie. It seemed fitting for yeah. Uh, yeah. Seinfeld the news the last couple yeah. weeks. Le- leave the new movies to King. I mean, come on, man. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, we are watching these Sandler things. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Gilmore 2, gonna be the biggest pile of shit you've ever seen. But you wanna know what? We're watching it. I'm picking it. We're watching it. Damn right. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Just yeah. also, who I know this is who asked for Happy Gilmore too. Okay, all right. I, I, I mean, maybe Shooter McGavin's Twitter maybe has revived it. I don't know. Okay, uh, I just I, I I'm confused too. Like. Car- Carl Weathers dies, and all of a sudden we get greenlit Happy Gilmore too. Like, what are we doing here? I saw. I mean, Swar- Alan I saw Swartz- hasn't been in anything. I saw Swartzen's gonna be in it. Oh God. Yep. So. Yeah, you know it's gonna be a gem. It exit. Like this is you know the original Happy Gilmore is before all his cr- he put all his cronies in every movie. You know, covert. You know, I think he was. I think he was a writer on it, maybe a producer. And he was in it, but you know you're gonna see Kevin James, Schneid, Peace. Who else? All, any. David Spade, you know they're going to somehow be in it too. Ben Stiller, Dan Patrick, Dan Patrick, Dan Dan Patrick will be an Irish cop. Yeah, a co-op. No, but yeah, but yeah, right. Stiller was in the first one as that yeah. bit orderly character, and he was fantastic. Yeah, he was like the ab- abusive dude with his abusive. grandma. Yeah, yeah. So you- Booble says it in the chat. His favorite movie of all time. He's not looking forward to the sequel. Yeah. No. I mean, it's Will been- Sasso in the very beginning. That's, it's been too long, and it's just that, we're gonna watch. It's it not though. a, it's not a movie that calls for a sequel. No, it, it ended as it should have. That was the ending for it. You know, grandma, grandma's, grandma's dead. definitely dead. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it, no, it, except for I'm sure there's. Like I said, Sandler must have signed like a twenty picture deal with Netflix, and he's just got to create content somehow. You know that that's not a bad point. Like he he has to make movies to fulfill his Netflix contract, and I mean he does. But don't make ones that sully what made you that, into what you're doing. Is not that Adam Sandler is you know, oh, 
I mean, he, you know, he's no Al Pacino or anything, but no, but that was yeah. one of his true. That was one of his true, like, untouchable movies for him. You know, people. Billy Madison is really fucking dumb. A lot of people say that's bad. You know, the, like the litany it. of the other ones you liked. I did. Like, I I, I, mean, recor- I recorded Billy Madison on one of those free HBO weekends on VHS and fucking destroyed that VHS. I watched that movie so many times. That yeah, but it's, Veronica it's really, it's really Vaughn stupid, is though. one piece of ace. <laughs> it's, it's really stupid, though. It, it's, oh, mean, it's incredibly least, stupid. Yeah. Happy Gilmore is dumb, but it wasn't like stupid. It was just kind of a little ridiculous here and there. But I, I, I think you, the, I thought you like it. You got like the cameo from Norm MacDonald at the start where he's like, yeah, I mean. See, Norm's dead too. What? Yeah, exactly. What? Can't bring him back now. These nostalgic things for Sandler, they just don't, what, they don't what, do it. Waterboy 2. Is is Kathy Bates still going? Is she still? Winkler going? would be the. I think Winkler, Winkler? would be Winkler. the biggest star. Yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah. I think everybody's still good for uh, Waterboy too. We got to get that going. What about the, what about the chick from the craft that yeah. was in it? I think she's okay too. She might be. I don't know. Who knows? I don't know her name. We might need to Google that. Mm-hmm. Uh, somebody in the chat, Google that. The chick from the craft, Waterboy. <laughs> Waterboy. How's she doing? <laughs> I think Kathy Bates is still good. Like Mama, yeah. Mama said, Mama said, yeah. I think we're still good. We're about to get Waterboy two, Billy Madison two, and Click two. Oh, click two. Click two. God. Faruka Salt. That's her real name. Faruza Balk. Okay. Balk. That's a like King's Balk. Balk. I think I, I I think Faruka Salt's like the name of a song or something, isn't it? Is Faruka Salt a Faruka, band? Faruka band, Salt? band, right? Okay, that's Faruka right. Salt is a band, right? Yeah. Well, wasn't no, the name Faruka of the Salt isn't from Willy Wonka? Ask the Willy Wonka. I was, was going to say Willy yeah. Wonka wasn't Faruka Salt in, but there, she was, there is. She like, was the blueberry. Yeah. Or, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm with you, I think there was also a band called Faruka Salt. I think yeah, I think well. so too. Yeah. 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 I think so. We're all right. Okay. That works. Yes. Yeah. We're good. Should we talk some sports? Any sports to talk Before about? Before that, well, let's do some real life stuff. Hey, uh, all right. the wife just came home from the other kid coming back from supporting events. Sure. Hey, uh, honey, I was trying to like, kind of rush and fake some stuff and dinner and kitchen. And uh, you know that uh, pan that your mom got us two Christmases ago? Dropped it. <gasps> and the handle on one. Not the. Not the the utility handle, but the little tiny handle broke. So I'm going to have to, that glue gun, you're going to have to put that to work. The glue gun is, no. <laughs> if that glue gets hot again, genius, that glue gonna melt. Is... Okay, well, well then it is just toast. She called them genius. Or we can just use it without the other side. Yeah, well, okay, I'm just, I'm just letting you know. Well, hey, Jeremy. Tell her, to, tell, her to, tell her to bust your welder. I work really hard to provide well that shit on <laughs> Get your welding rod out, right? Isn't that a? Isn't that Buck, Buck would say that? Get your welding rod out in the kitchen, woman. Come on. <laughs> I work. Yo, she called you your first name, my guy. <laughs> I love that too much. Yeah, it's c- coming from the chat too. Bust out the welder, Kinger. Come on, man. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> little little, ta- little tack welder there. No, <laughs> this this pan we got for Christmas of 2022. Yeah. It's it's big. It's versatile. Yeah. It it's like non-stick. It's great. It takes forever to fucking heat up. Like if you just wanted to cook a chicken breast that you cut in half, put it on the stove for uh, two days before it heats up enough to. It's great for some things, but my my gosh, pal, it's bad. Yeah. You ain't that guy, pal. Ain't that guy, pal. You ain't that pan, pal. You ain't that pan. Booble with a cherry, cherry, cherry. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so sports. I I have have a sport-related thing here. So, he wasn't watching. Is it or is it not Harrison Butker? It is not Harrison Butker. We'll go to that at some point. But, so, NBA is pretty fucking brutal right now right Terrible. i mean 
Agreed. Nugs lose by a fucking 50 tonight in a game six. I've honestly been watching hockey for the last like four days instead of NBA. So I've come to the decision. I'm going to be a hockey fan now instead of watching the NBA next season. But I need a team to root for. So I'm, I was going to crowdsource what team. Well, in the playoffs right now, mm. Rangers. The Rags? No, he's talking yeah. about next season. I'm talking oh, about well, that's the Sharks season. then. The, that's the Sharks. Sharks, baby! The Sharks! Do you even need to up. ask? Fins up, fins Ooh, up, dorsals. Doo-doo, doo-doo. Big old shark fans here. S yeah, Joe, let's they, go. Erica, getting, every other April, what do I get thing? into? <laughs> every other April. <laughs> well, you know. Eh, give or take. Did, yeah. did they have the worst record? Aren't they getting the number one pick this next year? They are. They sure They're, are. Hey, hey. I guess that's something to jump on to, right? Yeah, they're, young, they're, I'm, superstar. get someone named Sergey or Vladimir, for sure. I think it was Hucklebenny who shared that in Discord when Buchagras spoiled the, the draft order with his set picture. It's fant- fantastic work. Fantastic work. So uh, the outside the door is wet. Did you pee it's on the gross. door again? No, my youngest just takes... The most insanely hot showers you've ever. Oh, gotcha. And it's 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 like eighty degrees out. I know, it's not like... right now. He's no. yeah. It's. I had to move a fan into the room, man. It's it's about AC time. You know. It's... Oh, it one hundred percent is. Yeah. Oh, my AC is currently on. Yeah, we're we're in like it's. I mean, really, legitimately, it's like the seventies, but the house gets hot. It is what it is. Yeah, it's time to hook that shit up. No, but see, I was almost thinking of picking yeah. a kind. Of, I'm going to need to buy a tarp. I'm going to need to buy a tarp. So I'm going to I want a cool tarp. Oh, I'm not oh, sure if oh, I like. Oh, a sweater? Yeah, a sweater. Oh, got tarp. you. Okay. Got you. Got you. Okay. All right. I was like, because we, we, we were just talking about a wet door. And I'm like, are you still on the, like, the wetness topic? I mean, what are you buying a tarp for, buddy? Yeah, get sharks, baby. What the, like the color? The colors are undeniably great. Of or, the sharks. or, in, it, it's kind of on the same line as me being a hot spurs fan, For sure. being Maple Leafs fan. Yeah, but they, I mean, they, they, they have right, the guy right. that's not Connor McDavid, but is really good. Yeah. Austin something. Austin, Matt, Austin Matthews. Matthews. Austin Matthews. Yeah. That's me. I'm a buckhead. Even I know that. Oh. Come on, man. Um, Am. The only problem picking them is they'll never, I'll never have to worry about them, you know, winning a Stanley Cup. But if they do, but oh, I guess I get in on the ground floor. I mean, you're, I know, you're talking, you're here. talking to a couple, sh- a couple of Makos over no. here. <laughs> we've we've never won the cup either. Yeah, yeah, you're not going to have to worry about that with San Jose, my guy. Like, yeah, I mean, you're going to be fine. <laughs> what if I jump to the new Salt Lake City team? Just get on the ground floor. The, the Soakers. So, yeah, whatever. I didn't... Yeah, the U- yeah, see, their their logo and name is going to be so terrible. I just yeah, avoid it. That's the worry. Yeah. And, and the crazy thing is, is that if they had because ju- they're taking the coyotes, the yotes, as we puckheads call them, yep. if they were just taking the yotes, they could just stick with the name because there are coyotes in Utah. There is no jazz in Utah, not even jazz cigarettes in Utah, <laughs> and they. They adopted that name when they took the NBA team from New Orleans. But I mean, they won't do it for the Coyotes. It's crazy. And they're going to be like, we're the, the, the blizzard. Call us the blizz. The blizz. It's going to be something dumb for sure. Uh, ex- like uh, expansion team names now. They're just. I mean, I'm sure everyone at some point was like, <laughs> the heat. What a stupid name. You, I'm sure whatever. But now we've run out of names. We're, we're in like 20 years. We're going to be at that point where 20 years ago we were for like first or second grade soccer. We're wow. like, we're the purple vampire rainbow yeah. sharks. No, you just let the, you just let the kids name it, whatever the hell they want. We should just do that with Utah too. Screw it. Put up a pole and whatever comes out top. The is ra- the the Utah also does not have poles. No. Rainbow dragons. They also do not. Uh, Utah also does not allow rainbows. No, nope. in any form. What about especially what about, dra- what about dragons? Uh, yeah. Utah would rather. I'm just guessing. 
would rather have dragons rain the sky than a rainbow flag anyway. Well, I guess there are probably a probably a good handful of grand dragons there, right? There's a lot of gra- <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, uh, grand dragons, grand, grand wizards. Oh, perfect. I think we got their name right now. Yeah, the wizards with like somebody winking as the logo. What was uh, what was uh, the Terminator Two character in Peacemakers like superhero name? Because he was a big white supremacist. What was? It was he was a oh, dragon. Like his, oh, his was, was dad. Dra- yeah, his dad. Oh, good question. Was he, he might have been like White Dragon, which I think it was White Dragon. Been, yeah, but might be even better. No, but I'm, I guess I'm it, looking that it, up. The NBA is fucking. It's yep. unwatchable. It's it's bad. It's white. Well, it's, and the, it's White Dragon, by the way. White Dragon. Yep. Yeah. The, also cocaine, uh, <laughs> which also not allowed in Utah, strangely <laughs> enough. Um, the the thing about the NBA now is it's not even me being like, oh, Anthony Edwards is bad, or Jokic is bad, or Jason Tatum is bad. Well, Jason Tatum might be bad. I don't think. I don't think. By the way, I don't think cocaine's allowed anywhere. <laughs> Just for the record, well, yeah, <laughs> some places are a little more permissive. Uh, I don't right, even think mean, it's really a uh, crime around here. I'm just saying. <laughs> New, right. News, Newsmax says they're just handing out cocaine in Portland. So that's, yes, that's yes, true. Yes. Yeah, we all know that. It's facts. Sorry, Jason Tatum. But, but the way the game is played now, it's either it there almost every game or not every game because there are some good games. There are some good ones. There are a couple. But eighty percent of the games are Team A is hitting all their threes. And then Team B starts pressing and is missing threes they should not take. And then all of a sudden, that 15-point game becomes 20, becomes 25, and it's over and it's early. Just, and, and it's, it just snowballs, I guess. And it's just yeah. the value of that one po- extra point on every single shot. You know, where you know, tw- not that long ago, guys were playing in the paint and blowout still happened. But they were like 98 to 81. <laughs> Uh, in the shitty games now it's 123 to 70 it's just i team should, team shouldn't be winning or losing by 50 in the playoffs like that no that be what happening. i'm saying and 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 I, I i'm gonna say this with a preface of i'll be the guy in the fall that will tell you the texas tech game is fun and it's not fun and it's not good so i i, I understand the sports hipster thing but like league pass guy who will tell you Denver and Minnesota has been an awesome series. It hasn't. It's going to a game seven. Game seven could be epic. It really could be. You're having a hard time selling me on every game. That's not close because they're just not close. They're not. And it's like I said, Oregon legend Jamal Murray was like three for 19 tonight. Yeah. Like, how, how how does that team play that poorly in a in a in a deciding game? They like they could have won the series today, and they play like that. Well, just like I said, a, a game a game one, you know, maybe just get blitzkrieg, you know, right away. A new team, new everything. Not a game fucking six after you yeah. won. You know, after you come back and won what three or four? It's like they won three in a row. Yeah. Yeah, the it's Nugs, like, yeah. And the crazy thing is, the Nugs probably win by seventeen in Game Seven. Yeah, it's, and it's, it's and it's not even a close seventeen. It's just Jokic has an efficient 40, 12, and nine. Jamal Murray scores an efficient twenty five, and it's kind of oh, it's kind of in the bag mid third quarter. Like it's it's kind of just over. And 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 I, and I when I when I say that I want to sound like an old person because like you're not going to get me to say Steph Curry's not cool, you're not going to get me to say that Kevin Durant as a six eleven seven foot alien shooting threes isn't cool, but we've we've got we've advanced to the point now where everyone is good at them and shoots them that it just it, it's redundant at a certain point. It's like like ten years ago in the NFL and which was bad. Every quarterback was throwing for 80% completions because Tom Brady figured out if you just do two step drops and throw to a white, a slant to a white guy, six yards, six yards, six yards. It was boring. It was efficient. It was very efficient. It was boring. That's, yep. that's what Hit we're looking at. 
that's what we're looking at with the NBA right now. We sort of talked about it last week, right? When when all your stars are foreign born, white, slow players, this is sort of what is happening. Is what there, there's sort of no way around it. Like the games are boring. Like Jokic is really, really good. He he's incredible. Nobody can stop him on the floor. He's boring. Luca, like Luca is overweight. Luca is slow. Luca is lumbering. He'd still put up thirty points a game and, and lead the Mavs to, you know, a title or or whatever. But those are the best players who are in the NBA right now. Like those are your superstars. Like we're, I'm gonna tune in to watch the Mavs and the Thunder. The the best player in that series is Luca. I mean, no, <laughs> you know, like well, I'm not gonna at least do that. at least for the, at least and, for the and, Mavs. And like, and like the Cel- the Celtics running away from Cleveland. I'm gonna tune in to watch Cleveland. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not. No, especially when Mitchell was out too. I was like exactly. And Karis. No, and, and Jared Allen. And Jared. Yeah, and we I just a, wanted to say Karis LeVert. And we, we as a podcast hate the Knicks, so like we're also not watching that. Oh, enough about the Knicks. Don't even get me started on the Knicks. Well, you already did last week, so. I, well, did you, have you seen it now? They're they're calling John Starks and Stephon Marbury, Marbury the AAU dads of the NBA. Listen, Knicks fans, you hated John Starks because he went over 20 in a game seven or whatever in the finals. The Knicks hated Stephon Marbury, who's from New York, so much. They just told him to go home for a year and paid him $20 million. But now that he's moderately old and retired, they love him. Enough. Pablo Torre, I don't care. Jesus, I don't care. Mero, I do not care. Regis Philbin, rest in peace. I do not care about the Knicks. Steph, um, uh, Stephen A. Smith, you don't even watch the Knicks, and I don't I, I, enough. It's a, it's terrible. You just showed me Stephon Marbury like he was some beloved player in New York. He wasn't. He wasn't. Is is Jesus he and Mero? He's a better net than a Nick. Is Jesus and Mero still a thing? No, they broke up like they a broke year up, plus right? ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, neither is Regis. The uh, the Knicks. Have you uh you, you seen them? Hey, uh, hey, how about how about uh, you know Patrick Ewing? <laughs> you seen him? I'm my own guy. He's great. <laughs> John Starks had one good dunk, and that's his whole fucking career. That's all John yeah. Starks did that was good. It was like he's like the up. shitty Kurt Warner because he has the cool backstory where he like worked at a diner and then a lot, a lot of people worked at a diner. My guy, you're not. Have you special. watched the Knicks playoff game this year? Sure haven't. They're like, oh, Brunson. Brunson is is Brunson. This is the thing they're saying. Is 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 Brunson a top five Nick now? Because he's scoring saying... forty points. He's shooting the ball thirty seven times a game and scoring forty points. <laughs> like enough. This is the most efficient. Air- we just got whining about droning, boring, blase, Nikola Jokic efficiency. Luka. And he's like the most inefficient player ever. And we and New York, because it's in New York, New York loves him. Enough! Well, the thing is, he might be top five for New York because everyone else has been overrated in their franchise. So, R- remember, who knows? Remember, like you said, Willis Reed. Hey, hey Nick fan. Remember how many fights you got in with Lala because Carmelo Anthony was doing the exact same shit that Brunson was doing? Remember how many? Remember how many like yelling matches you got in with her because of that shit? Mid, yeah, mid range, inefficient, mid range jumper chucker. But yeah. now they're both legends. It's, it's the same just thing. It's insane. This, uh, uh, green, hey Greeny, get off my screen. Enough about the Knicks. I don't care, Greenberg. Hey, hey, one of you Goliches hanging around. I don't care about the Knicks. Get out of here. And now they're about to get boat raced by the Celtics. So, you know. Probably. They are going to beat the Pacers, though. So, Maybe. a playoff series. And then you get boat raced. That is what is going to happen. Yeah, NBA is NBA is tough. I definitely. I said, so, this, are, this so is let, no, let's, let's, make a, let's, it. let's make a commitment. Because we're saying 
Like the Blazers are going to suck next year, obviously. Let's just watch hockey. Yes. Let's just let's pick let's... seven. Pick seven and pick fourteen aren't going to save the Blazers next year. So yeah, when I I saw someone come out today and said that the uh, who was it? Oh, who said it? Someone said the number one pick is going to be the equivalent of like Gary Harris. Uh, uh, Tobias, Tobias, Tobias Harris. Harris. Tobias Harris. He's like, if you're lucky, that's how good the number one. Uh, I mean, Tobias is. Harris, I believe, was the highest paid player in the NBA for a few years, just mm-hmm. not that long ago. That Somehow. can't be right. I'm pr- I feel like that might be right. Someone looked at with it the, with the Sixers it's, too. Probably not right, but move, moving on. We'll, we'll make it right. We'll is, just assume. Is right. Jalen Brunson the new Allen Iverson? No, because he's not actually cool. He's not fun. Yeah. Iverson was fun. And Brunson's been good for what, like seven games? Yeah. Also, Iverson, least... Iverson was a football legend. Watch the YouTube videos. Unstoppable. Tobias Harris made $40 million this year. Nice. This year? <laughs> this year. What? His cap hit next year is forty six million. Oh my god! god. Forty six million for Tobias Harris. Yikes! Like I know when I know when Jimmy Butler left Philly, his thing was you pick Toby over me, and it was like truth at the time. Like yeah, that was a dumb move. But step six years later, is crazy. Crazy. Booble he's says, making, gonna, he's making says, top four like NFL quarterback money. It's insane. Booble says NFL center ice or NFL NHL center ice is $70 for the whole season. Oh, he shoots and scars. He shoots, he scars. That's a wicked wrister. Ski signing up Erica. for that on his phone right now. Where do you put I the biscuit? Am. She better get this right. <laughs> she she got it. It. <laughs> oh, she got it right. Let's go. Ah. Hockey podcast. Oh, podcast. <laughs> she shoots. She scores. <laughs> Fucking go. That's from beyond. No. That's from beyond the blue line. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. See, I know stuff about you hockey. Know, speaking of shit, Scotty Blin. Speaking of fun contracts, did you see? I saw today. Uh, the guy for the Cardinals, uh, David Fletcher. So we signed like a big contract like three years ago. Mm-hmm. Dude's been in the minor leagues last two years, becoming a knuckleball pitcher after getting like a hundred and like twenty five million dollar deal like three years ago. Who? Who? I don't know some position player, David Fletcher. I think it was like a third, something like that. I don't know, but now he's a now he's a knuckleball pitcher on like coming back after for three years ago. Yeah, look him up. Google, I need more details on the Sharks. Oh, well, wow. he's in, in Google Image, it shows an Angels hat. So, of course, he's getting paid $100 million to play in the minors. I, I, yes, I misspoke. It was the Angels, not the Cardinals. Oh, my God. Of course. Yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. makes sense. That checks out. Yeah. So, Google says the Sharks can be watched. Uh, they So, they air on NBC Sports California. I think the A's do, too. Uh, which can be streamed direct TV stream, Fubo, Hulu Plus Live TV, or YouTube TV. I have Hulu Live TV. So are you saying I can watch all the Sharks games right now? Is that what you're saying? Well, will... it's the playoffs. I don't know if you can. Yeah, about that. <laughs> yeah, well. Playoff, playoffs. 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 So, the, yeah, I mean, you mentioned it. The Blazers got the seventh pick in the lottery. Um and the 14th. And the 14th, yep. It's, uh, it's about right. It's about right. Pick up, pick up some nice role players in those slots. Yeah, some some non, some non true non-difference makers. Fantastic. All right. Giannis was the 14th pick, I believe. It was. They, uh, th- are they, are they going to trade both of them up to the first pick and get also a nobody? <laughs> get Tobias Harris. Yeah. <laughs> and you want, you want to see... You were, you know, you're complaining about Jokic and you know Luca and like the Euro invasion. Go look at some NBA mock drafts 
there's six Frenchmen projected to go in the first round. And they're yeah. all like seven two to like six nine, just same slender body. Just I, like I said, I think I wrote it. We need to get Trump back in office to shut down these fucking Frenchmen coming in the fucking NBA. I I, I feel like the, like two of the top three Americans projected in this draft are a white guy from K- Kentucky, a white guy from Connecticut, and a white guy from Tennessee. Yeah. What, Dalton Connect and uh, yeah, Connect Klingon and Klingon. this Kentucky guy who I've never heard of, but apparently, apparently he's good. A lot it, oh, of whites, a lot of whites. At least, at least we should have the number one pick next year, right? Hopefully, nice white American, right? Yeah, get Cooper, get Cooper Flag. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, Booble says Biddle should move to France, be a top five pick next year. He'd, He'd be a wide body that. in France. It's like a seven footer. Run the floor a little bit in France. That's a top five pick. That's all you need. So yeah, um, oh. here here we are talking about the Blazers. And we're done talking about the Blazers. And we're done talking about the Blazers because there's there's truly nothing they can do with those picks. Um, not that they. I mean, would there's anyways. Yeah. I, like I said, especially like for it's just a toss up. You get lucky. Yeah. You get lucky. That's all it is. And they sort of they they do have a track record of getting some good guys in that range, you know, like Dame, Lamarcus, and you know, yeah, was f- like fifteen years ago, it, was. it truly That's was. The problem. Yep, yep. And everything else is a miss. So, so yeah. All right, we're done talking Blazers. Yeah. NFL uh, schedule release. <laughs> Any any takes what? on your guys' schedules? Um, the NFL yeah. again. Wh- why are they out for the Chiefs? What is going on? They play on six different networks okay. on six different days. The only day of the week they don't play is on a Tuesday. Yep. And and, and if you think it's just me being oh you're a home Chiefs fan they're putting them everywhere. My my guys. Like, four years ago, the most diabolical plan ever from Fauci was released, and it was just released late enough that they could still win the Super Bowl in Miami. It's It's been a thing. They, they, they tried to bring the Taylor Swift curse upon the Chiefs, and now they're having them play. They're playing three games in 11 days. The Kansas, an NFL team is playing three football games in 11 days calendar days why oh oh they're playing on the 21st why are they playing on the 21st that's a saturday oh that's so we can make them play on a wednesday because it's christmas well, why are you shoehorning in a wednesday game just don't play on christmas it's a wednesday it's probably a hazard for the players but no the the east coast elites and Roger Goodell on his yacht in Martha's Vineyard are coming for the the Midwestern Catholic values of the Kansas I mean, City Chiefs and Harrison Bucker. I mean, that was. I mean, someone's gluing. Goodell, down, get back in the kitchen. Cook up a different schedule. I mean, Roger Goodell's having people glue down gas pedals, and they're changing teleprompter words for commencement speeches. I mean, it's out of more, control. I mean, everyone just wants to take down the Chiefs. That's disgusting. It it's disgusting. Clearly, ev- everything going against your franchise, man. I just I know. Can we can yeah. we catch a break? Honestly. Can we yeah. catch a break? Can you catch a break? <laughs> the whole world against you. Um <laughs> Niners have kind of a brutal one. I I got to say. You say uh, that every year about the I Niners. do say that every year. <laughs> it's, um it's because the Chiefs keep being on the schedule. They just keep on feeding. <laughs> like, stop playing the Chiefs. Fuck. <laughs> I'm so over it, man. So they they open the season Monday night against the Jets, which um, Leonard Floyd has a chance to. I think Dubin said that in the in the Discord. It's like Leonard Floyd has a chance to take out Rogers, both of Rogers' Achilles, uh, to open the season. So that should be interesting. It- did did you see that the Jets are slated to play seven primetime games? Yeah. You know why? Think, the other was like like the were the Bills seven two. Bills either seven or six. It was like I think, it was, I think you saw you know, like it was, it was like four, 
But it was like four I think it was weeks. Of I think Bill's six. Prime time. I think six was the high mark. It was Jets, Cowboys, Niners. I think it's six. I did like five teams at five. I think. Are they Are they even going to show the Chiefs on TV this year? I mean. I mean, it's bother? all streaming, apparently. Oh, let's get them on Amazon Prime! Let's get them on fucking Netflix! I love, gonna, I love this They're going to put the Chiefs on Freebie, is where they're going to put them. I mean, you're going to put them on freaking Tubi! Tubi, yeah, on Tubi. A, Tubi on a Tuesday! It's conspiracy! Yep. It's terrible! It's America's heartland! Protect it! It's all with Nick Wright and George Brett! What are we doing? I love this story. Barbecue but- Ribs. <laughs> I'm love- crazy. Can't Can finish. Can't I'm finish. Cray. Can't finish. The uh, I love the story that came out today about like the NFL had to look at Taylor Swift's concert schedule to to organize everything. That, that well, can't, that can't be a real thing unless it was for arena no. purposes. So she already scheduled her tour. And her tour happens to be at some of these stadiums on the weekend. And so they can't play games there. That shit happens all the time. So it's the not road, like, it's the not, road, the rodeo picks the Spurs out of San Antonio. I mean, but the, I mean, the NFL, they are playing, they are playing the bills in Buffalo while she's in Toronto. There mm-hmm. might be a loom. I'm just saying, I'm just saying the, uh, the NFL did not consult Taylor Swift's team. Before creating this schedule, <laughs> I love that though. Um, yeah, so so here's here's who the Niners play. It like again, it, it's a hard schedule. Um, the Jets aren't one of them. The Vikings aren't one of them. Patriots aren't one of them. No, actually, this isn't that bad. Where's your? Yeah, are you gonna name a team that's tough? Yeah, no, Bucks are one of them. The, so they got no. the they got the Chiefs, the Cowboys. Uh, Green Bay was good last year. Uh, the Bills, meh. Uh, whoa, 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 dismissive of the Bills. They got the Bears, the Dolphins, and the Lions to end the season. So Lions God, and Chiefs, I mean, I mean, mur- murderers, murderers, fucking yeah. row of playoff, and then their own, their own division, which is actually not good, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, no, I don't. I, yeah, I think I saw that they they play like four teams coming off buys this year. And one of them's the Chiefs, and the others like yeah. the Cowboys. And so, you know, I mean, when are the no. Niners going to actually join a real division? I mean, come I'm on. So- I'm sounding a lot like Washington fan right now. Does Oregon always play Washington coming off a bye? Off a bye. All right, I should stop. The uh, the uh, schedule releases were good again. The Chargers, Chargers with their Sims release was good it was good it was good they do a good job when, every year it, is this the second year of it when did schedule drops become a you know a i think during covid i think yeah. the chargers COVID i think the chargers really started during covid like that first 2020 like draft into schedule mm-hmm. and then yeah they've killed it the last like four years or whatever it is yeah they they must they must have hired a social team right like, cause they, they do. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I read sure. something about the the woman who leads the social team. Oh, and yeah. oh wait, she's... a wo- a woman? I know. What the I, fuck? I know. I'm sorry. I don't <laughs> think. That, that. I don't think that's appropriate. I think she needs to focus on her true calling in life, which is a family. Oh, maker. I. You're, I. The best I did say the best thing about the whole Butker thing coming out was, uh, who, who I guess it, the chief. I assume she's their lead trainer, the woman that like ha- somehow patched together Patrick Mahomes to be able to get on the field, and he, you know, thanked her himself, saying if it wasn't for her, he wouldn't have been able to play. And it's like, come on, Harrison. It's, I mean, it's it's re- it's it's like an impressive amount of tone deaf that Harrison Butker is like, I I realize, I realize he's speaking at like a Catholic school. Like I get it. Um, and I get, I, I understand the culture and, and all of that stuff, but it's a university. Like they're like all the women he's talking to 
the reason they're in that room is because they just went through four plus years of hard ass work to graduate and start a career like they they're not sitting in that room listening to you give this speech because they want to like jump immediately into starting a family and making babies and being in the kitchen my guy like know your audience um, and and maybe he knew like maybe that's the point maybe he knew like no, oh this, this is, go this is gonna go viral my audience is everybody but well this was planned for sure because i mean why else would you have harrison fucking butker he didn't go to that school did he nope then, then exactly then unless this was kind of a planned thing why on earth would you have him do it i uh, well i think it's because that specific school that Catholic school knew how Catholic he's been that's, and how loudly he's been trying to get everyone to realize he's super Catholic, but because he's a kicker, just no one really noticed the last three plus years. I mean, I mean, he's the guy that raised a whole stink. He, I mean, he's you know, like I was saying in the discord, he's a scam demic clot shot guy. I mean, it just didn't echo unless you were kind of an AFC West fan, you know, because He's a kicker. Why would He's you pay attention guy. to this fucking loser kicker? But you know, and then Aaron Rodgers kind of took that mantle from him. But oh, yeah. he, he's been trying for years. That guy is going to either run for office in Georgia because that's where he's from, or do like a right wing Rogan esque, you know, kind of podcast and make a boatload of money because he's he, he's really going into it. How long do you think he lasts on your team? I think this is last year under contract. It is. Yep. Um, I do, mean, do, do th so push come to you shove. Guys pay a receiver. You're not paying a kicker. So. Push no push come to shove. Do you think he makes? Do you think he's on the roster to start the season? I do, mm -hmm. only because he's a kicker. Mm -hmm. And there's there's clips that have been kind of viral over the last week or you know a couple of days of like Patrick Mahomes being like, not not even before because of this he's like i don't talk to i i don't i don't talk to the guy he's a kicker yeah. <laughs> his locker is right next to mine and i why would i talk to him he's a kicker he's so i think kicker. because he just kind of is off to the side but if someone were like a, a mahomes or a kelsey or if a loud voice was like okay, enough because he's a kicker i think they would let him go but because he is just kind of a lonely kicker, I think I think well, he'll stay. My question is, is where's God in all this? Because he missed like five games last year and cost me some fucking weeks in fantasy because he's got, you know, child quads or calves or something that always, you know, tightens up on him. Well, God has a plan, and God's, God's plan, plan is for what King said. It's uh, Or what Booble said in the, in the chat, Butker Herschel Walker 2028. <laughs> they yeah, by like the way they, georgia you said it yeah both of them well, and, and the the funniest thing about the whole deal is as people pointed out his mom is like a fucking physicist yeah. like emory <laughs> like the whole it, it's uh, no like i said it's it's just tone it's tone it's tone down. deaf it's Harder. it's it's, it's like weird and this uses this word is so overused but it's kind of like a privilege thing too where he grew up very affluent and religious and so that's just kind of his worldview so that he became affluent and still religious so because everyone in his life could be a homemaker even though his mom is not it, it that's just and, and catholics i mean frankly they pump out babies like there's a whole uh, no no contraception, no no protection. Let God do godly things has been around forever. So, and like I said, Chiefs fans have known about this guy for a while. <laughs> Not a surprise. He he. I find him cr great kicker, but man, whenever I see something pop up on social media through the years of him talking, I'm like, oh god, what now? No, but usually usually this stuff starts coming out like. Post retirement, usually it's usually not. You know, how old? He's not that old, is he? No, like he still could have a. You know, kickers could kick forever if you're decent well, too. He could have another ten year career going. I also think part of why he's doing it at a younger age is because he can 
hide behind the 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 shield of religion where you could say that it's not hate it's it, I, I am not talking down to women is being mi- misconstrued ephesians 14 32 you know what i mean and you're like well yeah. shit i don't know if i don't know first corinthians shit and that's just kind of the shield he hides where aaron Rodgers is just like Hey man, LSD rocks. You want to know what does it? The Fauci ouchie and the clot shot. You know, it's just, yeah, it's different. Kyrie, you know, the earth is flat. I'm doing this as a freedom fighter. Well, who are you fighting for? Uh, freedom. Native, Amer- freedom? Native Americans, right? right? Is, uh, right? Teachers, I yeah. think. <laughs> you know, like they had, it was flimsy on both of them. We're, Butker can really just recite the Bible, and yeah. we, I, I don't agree with him. But it's it's a shield that makes it more convenient than just being a the aliens are real, man. Right. It is his right to have those opinions. And absolutely, he absolutely can. And yeah, depending on how much it actually pisses off the Chiefs fan base and how much they remember it next week or the week after, that will depend on if he's on the team or not. Basically, I will say I did <laughs> yesterday after reading some Butker stuff. They're like, well, of course. Kansas City and like I've said Missouri is a terrible state I was like man who did Jackson County vote for in 2020 surprisingly 61% Biden I was I I know it's a city in America it's a it's a major city in America so I mean maybe like it's what major cities aren't blue like it's yeah, Phoenix maybe. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't. Like I don't all, even know. All metropolises are. Yeah. So, voting. but I was like, oh, sixty-one percent. That's. I, I thought it would be fifty-one forty-nine. It is wild, like the uber religious person coming from a scientific household. Like, I, I've. Uh, that's always been such a weird thing to me. Like, uh, because he was raised that way, so one would assume his parents made that so, and so a a chemist like as a religious nut like is just a weird like a I, i've never the, deposition never just never the twain, never the twain shall meet right like it it doesn't make any damn sense is what i'm it's saying it's like a nectar but. through the sieve <laughs> yeah that's what yeah <laughs> exactly yeah. <laughs> scientific mind over here clearly <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's just it's always it's such a weird thing oh. i don't know Third, third period. All right, we're 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 live streaming hockey, boys. We're we're big hockey podcast now. Edmonton and Vancouver. Let's go. Third, oh, third period. Go Oilers. Wicked risk. Oilers. Yeah. Connor McDavid, baby. Leon Drysidle. Connor McDude in June. <laughs> oh, that's a wicked burn. I think. <laughs> I think. Do it in sure. May. Connor McDude in May. Now uh, let's see what else we got to talk about. Anything else to talk about? Um. Oh, spe- speaking of speaking of uh, Kansas City's community, your rookie wide receiver had his car stolen. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. 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 His, he, Jesus, he, man. He parked. He parked his car in like a parking garage, and it was stolen by quote unquote professional like car thieves. <laughs> uh, uh, they Again, a ring there's of a car thieves. The the pox on House of Chiefs in the wide receiver sector. It's oh. just insane. They got rid of Tyreek while everyone forgot about his past transgressions and he was getting into his new ones. Uh they, they got hey. Rashi Rice, another <laughs> guy, Xavier Worthy just getting his car stolen. It's like just holy shit, guys. God bless him. I saw today that he uh Got his tenth kid on the way. Yeah, who does? Tyreek. Ten kids. I think Number he. Ten. I think it's like five, five in like ten and five. It's like eighteen yeah. months. He's had was, five children. What What was Cromarty's numbers? Is less than that. Was he? I thought he was like twelve and eight or something. I don't think so. I thought. I thought. I thought it was crazy. So like, somebody, somebody in the chat looked that up. How many kids did? Uh, Right. Which Cromartie? Antonio, Antonio, Antonio Yeah. 
I can't remember which Cromarty it was. Google Cromarty. I think it's two, Google Cromarty and kids. Cromarty and baby Obama. daddy. There you go. How many baby mamas? It's 14 Tyree? known children. 14. Yeah, there you go. God ah, damn. Wait, Cromarty does? Antonio Cromarty. Because Google yeah. says seven, according to Google. Uh, this is just Wikipedia. It says known 14 kids. Jesus. That's too many kids, man. Yeah. I don't it's like, Wikipedia, so who knows? I don't like condoms as much as the next guy, but man, like, use it a few times. Come on, man. At least like attempt to pull out once. Right? Yeah, yeah right? twins in 2016 and twins in 2017. That's after the career, right? <laughs> That's rough. He's yeah. not collecting that paycheck anymore. That is rough. Yeah, Philip Rivers has a bunch of kids too, but he's all like, he's he's on the Butker wagon. Yes. As we yeah. Know, so, um, yeah, try try soaking. Try try the try the Utah oh. thing. Wicked wrister. Um, Fucking posting. Should we just do our list? And we got anything else sports wise? The, the, the only thing I I would say is uh, congrats to Oregon State and Washington State for getting on the CW mm-hmm. because One Tree Hill is amazing and Cheaters comes on at night and that's amazing and um. Yeah, that's good. I think, good, I think, you, good I think you get some live, you get some live golf mix in there. They do. There. Yeah, I think I think they even have a NASCAR race this year. I believe. Oh. Um, they'll run it. Do they run like sister sister on there. Or? <laughs> T and Tamara, yeah. shout out. Yeah. Where, where's is Taj Maori the brother? Or... Taj, what whatever. Booble says. Uh, Booble says supernatural is a great lead into Oregon State Idaho. <laughs> Not bad. The one thing about the like uh, college schedule release stuff, yeah. and Oregon wasn't really involved in it, is it's going to take me a really long time to wrap my head around. You know, you know, Oregon will probably have a game on Peacock this year, right? They'll probably have yeah, one. Big, big Ten's got a deal. Yeah. Probably two on Big Ten Network because, you know, who wants to watch them play a couple, you know, I forget who their opening game is again. Portland, right is now. it Portland State? Again? Portland State or Idaho or whatever. It's it Idaho, right? Because I, I think it's Idaho. Idaho. I think they like the Ducks keep pushing the two game Idaho Boise City package. That's right. Yeah, yes, so. that is correct. And and that's a whole thing. But after that, it's it's my brain is going to take a while to like not look towards ESPN and ABC, and it's going to be like CBS, Fox, and NBC. <laughs> Like yeah. them being on NBC proper and CBS proper is blowing my mind. So oh, I I have tried to avoid the 10 a.m. Big Ten kickoff for. We we had yeah. a running like group like group texts before group texts were like a an easy thing to do where we joked about canceling Comcast before it was Xfinity because they were throwing the Big Ten network down our yeah. throats. Like and now we are. Like it's just it's a whole new world. You're part of it. Yep. I'll say I'll say though, like, you know, Oregon State and Washington State have been getting a lot of shit this week for that, for being on CW. And, you know, I get it. Like it, it's CW. I, I I fully understand. Uh CW, you know, Civil War is gonna be on Fox proper, you know, so they're they're still gonna have their big nationally televised game, quote unquote big. Um the fact that they're on national TV at, at all as the Pac-2 is a big no, deal. Like, it is, because it could have been a lot worse. They could have not had a deal at all, because, frankly, who the fuck is dumb enough to sign those two schools alone in the schedule they have to a TV deal? It's it's insane. The fact that they're making yeah, they, money on a TV deal at all is insane. I'm, I'm mad. They could have they could have brought back those old closed circuit fucking games. Oh, I love those. Oh, oh, I know. Uh, oh, gotta go to the old pad to watch that game up, up in Pullman because because the internet doesn't work. <laughs> Do you say the old pad? Yeah. The, the paddock. The paddock. The paddock. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I haven't thought about that place in forever. The, the, I, I get Oregon State and Washington State spinning being on the CW into a win, whatever. Um, 
but it's the people in and the internet brings out the worst. I get it. We're like, ha ha, har har, you'll be on Peacock for a week. I, I, I just, I don't have the, 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 I don't have the energy to argue with these people anymore. It's like, you can live in that world. Like, that's great. But th- this, that was a, you being on the CW this year and maybe next year is like, you know, that is a, a floaty that you grab onto when you're drowning oh. in the water. It's not sustainable. <laughs> like, it's, and no, well, I, guess, I mean, well, I feel bad for them in a way, but their entire situation is not sustainable. Like, no, and and again, look, I feel I there's a there's a part of me that feels bad that they're in this predicament because TV's ruining the sport. Some would say, definitely running it, but it, the way it's cl- it's clouded some of the the coverage locally is starting to really irritate. Like the fans can say what they want to say. When you when you log on, you're reading you know, from Oregon Live or whatever, and it's just the 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 people talking are mad that Oregon split off, and it's, it's, it wasn't their fault, but essentially killed Oregon State football. So now they're making every little thing Oregon State does like a win over Oregon. It's like stop. The, or, just, Oregon just, Oregon does not think about you anymore. Like it, it is. It's it's like it's like a breakup. And the the person who got broken up with is still basing their entire life on that other person. And everything they do is trying to impress that other person or or like their whatever negative thing happens was a slight that that other person did or something like that. And the other person has moved on like the other person. Nothing they do is in response to to you anymore. And that's what Oregon State is right now. And it's. It's it is like it is sad. Nobody nobody wants to see this happen for Oregon State and Washington State. Like I I think I think most of us like you know we even said this when like the last couple of years. It's like we don't really have animosity towards Oregon State. Like in football, it's like the, uh, Oregon fans hate Washington. Like Oregon State is just Oregon State. It's like one one game a year you pay attention to them, and otherwise it's like okay yeah do your thing guys. Like it's it's totally cool. Oregon doesn't give a fuck about you. It's it's a it's a shame. It is. And and again, like we d- we didn't want to see this happen to to either one of them, but they did have their opportunities and they didn't take them. And it's kind of on them too. Like yes, TV ruined it, but yeah, they had their chances to move on too, and they just didn't do it. That's by th- that's documented. Like all that shit's out there. Maybe not Washington State as much, but before we move on to the list, yes. Any very quick, quick and succinct, sus, succinct, sus, succinct, succinct, sus, sus, succinct. Yo, you're sus quick right and, now. Quick and quicker thoughts on <laughs> NCAA 25. You guys buying oh, yeah. it? You guys yeah. buying the Mondo pack? You buying? No. Anybody who pays EA extra money for a deluxe edition is a sucker. I said that in Discord too. It's like you're not gonna get. You're gonna get like those those Legends card packs or whatever that you can you can use. Like those are dumb as hell. Like you get those EA coins or whatever. Like no, don't do that. I'm buying the basic edition. Uh, we are doing a dynasty for our podcast. That's gonna happen, and it's gonna be a blast. I'm lo- I'm looking forward to it. Like it it yeah. very very well could suck because it's EA and they have a track record for doing that. But we're fucking playing it. Absolutely. And apparently like we were talking about this before you got on King too. They have the uh the system crossover. So yeah. Like, people who have Xbox can play people who have PlayStation and PC and all that stuff. So actually maybe not PC. I don't think it's on PC. There's no PC. That's yeah. right. That's right. So PlayStation People are very upset. PlayStation people can play Xbox people. That's fucking rad. That's 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 a really good idea. Um, yeah, I'm excited for it. We'll see. WCP's on PS4, guys. Really? That surprises me. That's come on. I mean, I got a PS5 like five months ago, so I can't really talk. Come on. X. I still got the X bone though, but I don't have to. I think I have to get the Xbox. I don't even X. I don't fucking know. Series X. Mm -hmm. The the PS5 has been kind of co-opted. It's no longer a living room 
<laughs> oh no, the kid took the PS5. Yeah, it's gone. It's it's oh. gone. Which is fine. I don't. Right. I truthfully don't play it enough to. But in July, when I buy that yeah, X, so. Xbox Seven or whatever the fuck it's called, Series X. Yeah, that one. Yeah. That one. Make sure, make sure you get the right one because there are like. No, I, know, three- no, I know. It says. Yeah, okay. I, I know. I, I looked into it. I just. I know. Okay. It's it's everything other than above the X yeah. bone. Yeah. So. You could the, get, you make could, sure to get the Elon version. Yeah. I will not. Get, you could also get the Series S, as in Sam. That's like the digital one. So okay, so I have a question about that one. Uh-huh. It, it, if if I made that my stupid date, my stupid playing thing, and really all I did on it was NCAA football. Is that worth? Is that is that three hundred dollars going to go to waste? Is that like a shitty no? thing for that one no core of these skills becomes the device or for better different games i i'm pretty sure that it's exactly the same it just doesn't let you play discs like you can't put okay. discs in it so are you, you guys gonna buy the physical disc or I the digital that. yeah i have series x yeah because yeah. i i watch blu-rays on it and stuff too so yeah yep i don't like the Blue, digital blu-rays stuff. oh yeah I don't like I don't like digital versions of the games. I don't like it. I don't either. You know, like I want, I, I I want the disc, them, man. I only buy them when they're on like, super sale. Disc, be. Yeah, like 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 I've I've bought digital games. Like, yeah. don't get like uh, my latest Madden in the show. I you know in the last couple of months I bought the digital ones. Okay, whatever, because they were they're old. They're nineteen bucks now, but I like that physical thing. Um, you know, it's it's it, it's cool to see breasts on a screen. But but it's cooler in person where you could touch them and uplift them, uplift what? them to gainful employment like Henderson Butker doesn't want to have. That's a good save, my dude. That's a good yep. save. <laughs> Glove save and a beauty because we're a hockey podcast. Yeah. Yep. Let's, let's do our list. How about that? How about that? Uh, list came from Duck Duck Chef in the discord uh it is top three uh because doug gottlieb just got hired to coach the green bay basketball team university of green bay is that it right yeah uh top three radio personalities you would want to coach a sports team top three radio personalities who wants to start i'll start my number three Colin Cowherd, because every time they lose, he'll blame the quarterback for wearing his hat backwards. <laughs> I just don't like it. I'm just, I'm just trying to win a football game, and he keeps turning his hat backwards. Be this is the McDonald's, Fortune 500 company. Be you know what I mean? We're, we're not in a gas station in Omaha. This is the herd. <laughs> he does go to commercial breaks yeah. really quickly. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, my number three is Linda Cohn hockey. Cause frankly, she knows a shit ton about hockey and I mean, you could go a lot of hockey announcers, but Linda Cohn, I'm sure she's probably better than whoever's coaching your sharks. Yeah, I'm in name, name your sharks coach. No. Yeah. King name the sharks coach. Oh, that's easy. Esteban Vladivaginkov. Yeah, stupid. Figure it out. Idiot. Idiot. Dork. Nerd. All right. Uh, my, num- my number three, I'm going to go weird with it. I'm going to go Wolfman Jack. I'm going to spin in. Spin in those discs. And it, he's, he's not a head coach. He's a position. He's coaching the O-line. D line kind of guy. Yeah. That's where the wolf man's at. Yeah. That's pretty good. Uh, threes from the chat. Uh, WCP says cow turd. Uh, Booble says <laughs> Booble says Michael Savage for the name of Savage, <laughs> Savage Nation. Oh, Savage that is Nation. a name I have not yeah. heard of in what is so it? You it was what is it? The Savage Nation. San Francisco Bay with my dog. I used to be a botanist. He lives in San Francisco, and he has <laughs> Savage Nation. He's lived there for like forty years, and he's like 
a right wing talk I, show host. I, boy, I forgot about that name. That is a... me too. The form, former employer, man. That was that was the show where I realized that that what that uh, that station was all about. The Savage Nation. Like the KUGN five ninety station that's been around since the sixties. Home of the Ducks. Oh, what's that that came on after? Oh my God! <laughs> what is he talking about? Man, his rants are. Oh my God! <laughs> wow. I mean, he he was kind of Alex Jones before Alex Jones. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Yeah, he was just twenty years before his time. Yeah. Like and if he knew how to get on the internet, he would have oh, been yeah. Alex Jones. I'd like look at my he knew boss what sometimes. Was. I, I'd be like, you you. you you know what's happening here, right? Like you, you know. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I remember. God, okay. this is such a tangent. When I knew he was out there, was like, cause I had a, I worked at a place where the boss listened to it all the time on low, but you could hear it. He would go on these like anti-Semitic rants, and I finally learned, realized like he's he's Jewish. Jewish. He is Jewish. <laughs> I knew he was crazy, but like huh, he's crazy. <laughs> He lives in he lives in the most liberal city in the United States of America, <laughs> is Jewish, and would go on huge anti Jewish rants. It was unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, all right, moving on. <laughs> Good job, Booble. Uh, King, my, Kings number two, Don Imus. Yeah. What's your two? Uh, no, my number two is Craig Carton of WFAN. <laughs> And now FS1, because he was, it was Boomer Esiason and Carton on Boomer and Carton. And then he got arrested for like felonies for money laundering and fraud. And then he came back, rose like a phoenix out of jail and is now hosting a show on FS1. So that shows he could be my college football coach because he has no oh, yeah. scruples. Stick to itiveness. Yeah. No scruples. Stick to itiveness. He's going to teach them how to fight through adversity on a weekly basis. Uh, my number two is Petros P for obvious reasons. Do I even need to talk about why Petros P? He's a fucking legend. Get out there, boys. That's my Petros P. Uh, I don't think he's very good. My number two. I'm going. I'm going easy, simple with it. I'm going Jim Rome, and I'm gonna. You know, he's gonna have to bring in Chris Everett as his quarterback coach. You know. You need that fire in the fucking locker room together, those coaches. Yeah. Good win. Epic. Matt Stafford. Yeah. Rack them. <laughs> hey, TJ Simers. Hey, Bill Plasky. Thanks for the vine. Rack me. <laughs> Rack me. He wins wins the opener. That's how he exits the His press opening conference. press conference would be yeah. so good. <laughs> Throw Rack me a vine. Hey, oil can Henry from <laughs> Omaha. What say you? He introduces every question by doing something like that. All right. Uh, let's see. Two's from the chat. Uh, WCP Mad Dog Russo. Booble Having says, a renaissance. Booble says Adam Carolla coaching, <laughs> coaching mathletes. One of my favorite things about Adam Carolla was was when he was on Love Line, Jimmy and Kimmel. people would call in, and the running gag was they would eventually say that they had an anus the size of a mason jar. <laughs> I meant to, when I when I said it, I meant to air horn out the, the A word. But I the A word. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Edit Sorry, out, kids. Edit out anus. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Stop saying it! <laughs> Uh, Adam Carolla coming to uh, Eugene this summer, right? Really? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, look it up. Uh, let's see. <laughs> dog, dog do something, or is that one of the kids? <laughs> he gone. It, 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 throw. Did he do his number one? No. So it, he's up for number one. We'll skip yeah. over him. We'll, we'll round back to Kang for his number one. He had to, there was, there was a, something happening. Um... All right, my my number one, my number one is DJ Clue, because if you're coaching football, you got to be loud, and there's nobody louder than DJ Clue. 
DJ Clue. Any anybody from the nineties, two thousands, listen to a DJ Clue album? He yelled the whole mm-hmm. fucking time. Uh, uh, no, I th- I feel like there's a different uh, DJ who's louder. Uh, uh, what's his name? New York DJ, City. DJ yeah, these are fucking bars. Oh, bars. Uh, s- starts with an S. Sway. No. No. No, he's bald, right? He wears a hat. I don't... Yeah, I know who you're talking about. I can't remember his name. Shit, that's going to bug me. <sighs> Damn it. Yeah, He's geez. a fucking bars! I know who you're talking about. I, I, I can't. God I, damn I, it. I, it's so obvious we know who he is. But, yeah. Alas. Uh, you want to do your one now, King? My number one? Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> Because even after a bad loss, he is an elite liar and will make me feel better, even if I don't believe him. He will just bury his. He will just bury his players too. I got it. It's Funkmaster Flex. Funkmaster oh, Flex. Thank yeah. you. Yep. That was really, really gonna bug me if we didn't. Yeah, remember that, that was that was a bad miss by us. Yep. I still think DJ Clue is louder. Think so? Okay. DJ Clue. Right. Every single song. Yeah. DJ Who Kid says Booble. I don't know. <laughs> All right. What do we have left? Who's, oh, uh, who's still up? My number one. You know what? I don't know what sport I'd want him to coach, but I know he'd do good, and that's Scott Farrell. He's already on the bench. Shagadoo. Shagadoo. Okay, guys. Get out there and fucking give it your all. We're on the bench. Come on. I don't want. I don't want anybody on the bench. Yeah, if that's got had some hockey, elite, elite stories of degeneracy. Yes. Oh, oh I went to cover a Dodgers game. Got on the four hundred five. I was so blackout drunk. I drove my Mustang in the in the media. And you want to know what I did? I just went down the four hundred five to the one hundred five to the Pacific Palisades, and I had a Malibu and did coke with uh, Cindy Crawford. I got to This is Pharrell on the bench, CBS Radio. I got to Yeah, he would pour people drinks. Who'd call in? Mafia. Mafia. Those are the fucking golden, the golden <laughs> no, years mafia. of radio. Fucking, did, fucking did, anybody in this town who worked late, like driving home after work, listening to Pharrell. It, fuck, it was the best. He'd, he'd be right now watching this hockey game and just kind of chiming in on what's happening. Not talking about anything else. Just nope. telling you what's going on in the hockey game. because. Yep. I've just got to bet on it. Oh or something. my god, Wicked Rister Mafia! Can you fucking believe that? Right. <laughs> was was at the at the end of his run? This could be another late night show, and I'm confusing. Was that uh, producer Shep his producer? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, like a week ago, I heard that Shep guy hosting an NBA radio show on Sirius XM. And if anyone doesn't know, this is so inside baseball. This is boring, but. He, he talks like this. Like, He's hey, boring. Hey, hey, Giannis, do me a favor. Play on a torn Achilles. That guy hosts. Hey, hey, hey Damian Lillard, do it in Milwaukee. He couldn't do it in Portland. Hey, yeah, standalone show. A standalone show on NBA radio, Sirius XM. And granted, it was kind of like an 8 p.m. Saturday or Sunday thing. So obviously not top shelf. I could not believe it. I couldn't believe it. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Sounds like, kind of sounds like she should be on like NPR. Oh, a hundred percent. His voice is so. No, he'd be yeah. great for like NPR feature stories. He'd be perfect for that. Wow. Who is so who's the guy that does like podcasts and stuff and it's like, like, this is America or something yeah. like the, like Ar- that. Ari, that Ari huge... Shapiro. Is that it? I think that's his name. I can't remember his name. But yeah, there's that big NPR guy. Yeah. I'm Googling it. No, but uh, yeah, it's it's Ari Pharrell, Sh- Ari Shapiro. Yeah, Pharrell is. I forget what. I don't know what time he's on, but he's on something called Sports Rage now. I think it's it's gambling. A Canadian. I think it's a Canadian yeah. show also. But yeah, he's yeah. I, I remember kind of in the last like three or four months reading about his breakup from CBS, CBS Radio, which is now called something completely different, like. 
I don't remember what it's called, but it's very bizarre. I, I heard the news break a few weeks ago. Instead of being like, CBS Sports Radio, it was like, Odyssey on your radio, or something really weird. It was, I didn't like it. I don't like it. No, sir. Didn't like it. All right, we got anything else? Oh, threes. Did I do three ones from the? I didn't. I didn't do ones from the chat. I almost forgot again. Um, scrolling through. Oh my god, this is too difficult. Why is this so difficult? Yeah, this should not be that difficult. Hey guys, dead air. audio medium, dead air. Am I right? I know. Okay, uh, WCP Jim Rome. Uh, Rack em. Booble says Vinny and Icky. <laughs> oh my <Wow>. god! Wow, <laughs> the two for one right there. Throwing a T Bone reference while you're at I it. I know you got Myers and T Bone in the mix on this one. Vinny and Icky. Icky is the bench coach. Vinny is the manager. <laughs> Gotta love that. Throwing a Playhouse Radio reference while you're yeah, at it. Play- <laughs> I know. <laughs> Uh, honorable mentions for WCP: Softy and Clay Travis. Ah, no, 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 no. Boo. Boo. Uh, Boobles is Charlemagne the God. <laughs> oh my God! Why listen to that? <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Uh, movie on Sunday is Unfrosted. Jerry Seinfeld. Netflix. Unfrosted. It's a movie about pop tarts. It's a comedy. Question mark. About Pop Tarts. Uh, watch What's it. the deal with the Post family? <laughs> the podcast might be 20, 25 minutes of us doing that voice. So oh. just be ready. Yeah. What's the deal with Amy Schumer? I mean, is she funny? I don't think so. <laughs> no. No. Oh, no, she isn't. no. <laughs> no. All right. We... Well, I guess that's the answer. <laughs> All right, uh, podcast is over. Goodbye.